Hey, welcome back to the channel or welcome to the channel or whatever the case might be. Uh, I'm Steve Calloway. Most of you know that if you've been here before. And if you haven't been here, I'm Steve Calloway. There you go. Now you got me, okay? So I just want to do a wrap up of that. Uh, I can, I can think I can get rid of the headphones too. I don't need those right now because I'm not listening to anything. I comb my hair for this nice video presentation here that I'm doing so I look like a human being partially. So there we go. Now I'm ready to rock and roll, baby. So we have um, just finished watching or listening to the reading, reading that book. Uh, I'm not 100% sure that I have enough information to tell you what that book is. Um, I can assume a few things and I'll probably be wrong because normally when I assume I am wrong. Uh, because I don't have enough information to even make an assumption. So without dragging that out too far, let me just say that I've heard Sarah's been working on a book, and this may be it, it may not be it, I don't know for a fact. I don't see any information that tells me that it is or isn't. Uh, it would appear to be something like uh, you might expect from Sarah, but because um, it, it isn't, you know, it sounds like the book's, being uh is about angelina but not by angelina that's what it sounds like to me anyway so i mean i don't know just kind of but it could be grandma mary i suppose it could be uncle mike it could be juliet i don't know i don't know it could be somebody else i don't know um but and it may not be a book it may be a compilation of a bunch of things you know to make a video i don't know i just plain don't know okay if it is Sarah's book, congratulations, Sarah. It's a masterpiece because, to me, this book, in, in simple form and, it, 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 you, you know, keeping brevity in mind, it covers, it tells the whole story in my mind, okay, without going into all the great details about day-to-day, -day, this and that and the other thing, all the minutia, right, that, uh, that it goes into making these things happen because that's really not the important part. It's like, you know, the journey... The journey is, is always, well, it seems like the journey is mostly, usually more important than the destination. And each each step is another step towards the destination. It's called the journey, okay? So the steps are important. You have to take them. If you don't ever take a step, you won't go anywhere. And sometimes those steps are easy. Sometimes they're not easy. Sometimes there's danger and peril and loss and who knows what else, right, with those steps. But you have to take them. 
and maybe there's some lessons to be learned. I should have, uh, you know, at that fork in the road back there, I should have gone left and I went right. Maybe. If you don't know, you don't know. So you got to go with, you got to pick a direction and go. And, you know, if it's a 50-50 thing, it's a coin flip, right? I mean, who knows? And how do you know that no matter which way you went, the uh, path was going to be similar? So maybe, well, you thought this was a difficult path. Maybe the other one was too in a different way, right? Who knows? So anyway, let's go on with the story. So the story in the book is basically Angelina's story. And it shows me that there is a long-term perspective. The, the, Angelina and her family have a long-term perspective on what her goal is to sing for the whole world. They don't expect it's going to happen overnight. This, they're on the path to that destination. They're, they're in the middle of journeying towards the culmination of that. And they understand that. I don't think they expect that next week they're going to be on uh, global stages, okay? They know it's coming. And they have faith that it's coming. They believe that it's coming. They believe in each other and they believe in Angelina. And they know that this is what she is made for, why she's here, because they've witnessed it her whole life. This is why she's here. Most of us don't know why we're here, what our, what our purpose is. Angelina has always known. With clarity and simplicity and I guess, I don't know what else you would call it. It's, uh, it, it, it's something I, I don't know that I've ever seen in my life, really. So that's why I guess I became a fan of Angelina's because not only can she touch my heart and my soul, but I believe she's way more than that, way more than that as a person. And I don't know, that to me is rare. You know, look around you. How many people do you know that have that, I don't know what you even want to call it, strength of character, that nature about them? I mentioned in a video not long ago that when Angel Angelina walks, you know, like into a camera shot or out or cross stage or whatever it is, she has this light, um, elegant almost way about just walking across the stage. She is basically unbothered and unconcerned about pretty much everything, and yet she's completely aware of everything. Maybe those two things go together, I don't know. I don't know if that makes sense to you, but you know, she when she walks, she, you don't usually see her like having to run off, you know, to go do something, or scurry off. You know, we've seen it before when she was younger, uh, like the one time they went to the music park, you know, they were all, everybody was running, so she was running. But, you, you know, we don't see her often get flustered or out of sorts. She's level, you know? That's, that's unusual too, I think. I've known some people sort of like that, but not exactly like that. Typically, the people I've known that are like that, they tend to run a little bit towards the arrogant side. You know, some of them, not all of them. And that I don't particularly care for, but Angelina doesn't do that either. She's very humble. You know, think of that. Think of the characteristics she has that we've witnessed, we've seen over and over and over again, too. It's not like it's one time, you know, the camera was on, so she put on a show for us. No, it's, it's not like that. We've seen way too much for that to be the case. That's why these all these videos behind the scenes and uh, the home life and all that kind of stuff. I mean, those things are so telling. They're so precious, too. We get to see the real, genuine, authentic, no questions asked person and family. That's, that's priceless. So if I chose to be a believer in Angelina... I think my belief is well placed because I've seen all I need to know over and over again, repeatedly. It's, it's, it's normal for them. Well, 
you know, these pictures, I got some videos, I got to do another couple videos, and one of them is going to be, uh, there's several videos with Angelina and Juliet and Grandma Mary and Mom, and, you know, they're just interacting with each other all the time. It's like, you know, at, at my house, <laughs> I got, I'm the oldest of five kids, and my I got three sisters in the middle, and then my brother's the youngest. And at my house, yeah, that type of harmony uh, was not very common, okay? And maybe they have moments when they're not harmonious, but uh, yeah, it was not common at my house. You know, that same scene where they're all laughing and giggling and having a good time, I can see that one sister pulling another sister's hair and the other one beating them with a pillow and, you know, that kind of stuff going on. You know, everybody trying to push them off the couch, you know, whatever, you know. It's like, yeah, it's a whole different thing, you know. I mean, that's... And that's no, that's no, uh, my mother was left with a situation where she had to raise five, raise five kids on her own. My father left, and we had nothing when he was there, and we had less when he left. So, uh, you know, she had to find a way to raise five kids. And back in those days, most people didn't want to, were too prideful to take any help. Not that there was that much around anyway, back in those times. And uh, uh, most of the people of that generation wouldn't ask for help. Too Too prideful, you know, and that's, to me, that's a, a, it's something that's now lost to the, for the most part that I think actually helped build character in people, uh, self-reliance and so on. I'm not saying that people shouldn't accept help to need help. If you need help and you can find help, get help. But then at some point you should be thinking, how do I get so I don't need this help? How can I get myself in a better position? Maybe you can find a way, maybe you can't. Maybe you'll continue to need help. I know nowadays it's so tough for kids because the world's crazy, money, the cost of everything. You know, it's people are making 20 bucks an hour and they can't afford to live on their own because rent's gone up, food's gone up, utilities have gone up, you name it. And uh, can you imagine that? 20 bucks an hour, man. It just seems like only a few years ago that 20 bucks an hour was like a high-paying job. Now it's you, you can't survive on it. You know, times have changed. All right, guys, let's move on. Uh, thanks for watching the video. I hope you got a lot out of it like I did. Uh, it did touch my heart and my soul, the whole thing, just reading it. And, and I, every word that's in it, I sort of know anyway. Not, I didn't know the words the way they're written, but, you know, what they're talking about. I, you know, I've seen it all, too, like you guys have. Witnessed it. We're all witnesses. All right, guys, thanks Guys, thanks for uh, thanks for watching the video today. Bye bye. We'll see you on the next one. Have a good day. Good night. Good morning. Whatever it is, wherever you're over. See you in the next video. Bye bye.